Hey everybody, Life Lesson Friday for June 28th, 2024 is taking risks with your life. Like, um, not necessarily in meaning like, you know, jumping off a cliff. That's a pretty risky thing to do with your life. But enjoy, like, like live outside your bubble. Live outside your comfort zone. Like, do some things. And, and this actually came became a topic because... I saw that it's it, it's either Mel Brooks' birthday today or it was yesterday or whatever with Facebook posts. You know, you see stuff and people are all talking about it. Um, and so it gets highlighted in your feed. But apparently, I, I think he's it, it was he's 98 years old. And one of the quotes that was attributed to him um, was something about you know like if you're if you're not taking risks on a daily basis, if you're not like having fun, doing things that are outside your comfort zone, like doing quote unquote like scary things that on a daily basis, or at least talking to yourself and having those fun, imaginative, using like going and doing fun things, like experience life. If you're not doing those things, he was sort of like, like, why are you living? Like, you know, push the edge, like go out there and do things that are are risky like not illegal not you know not not that they're gonna harm people but go do things that are that are gonna push you to the excitement edge that are gonna be fun that are gonna be outside of your comfort zone outside of your daily routine outside of the things that like quote unquote everybody else is doing you know sometimes we gotta just go like hey let's just go experience life and so many of us don't do that. So many of us get into a very set routine. As much as people complain about routines and don't want routines and da-da-da-da-da, if you actually detailed your life, the vast majority of us, and I get stuck in this way too, but the vast majority of us get stuck in a routine that we do the same thing every day or we do the same thing every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. It's the same things over and over and over and routines are great because they help you get you know two goals you want to have a healthy goal get in a routine of working out doing exercise okay well change up how you do the exercise and add some experience into it go run in a park you've never run in before if running is your thing go you know swim in a lake Versus swimming in a pool and in, in, at you know your gym, if swimming is your thing for exercise, um, you know so there's other things to do to still stay in your routine, but add experience, add life to your life, and when you do those things, you live longer. I mean, heck, he's 98 years old, and you can't tell me he's. Uh, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I would assume he's probably indulged in some things in his lifetime that are not healthy alcohol sweets i mean you know those things are out there and doing those things and still living to 98 there is 100 percent a piece of longevity a piece of having a happy life a piece of having a a fun you know upbeat enjoyable life that you want to stick around for a big piece of that is experiences taking time taking the risks sometimes it's a financial risk to go on a vacation that you don't know if you can really afford um, but taking that risk to go out there and find that thing that's the experience that is outside of your comfort zone that's gonna make you look back and say I had an enjoyable life I did things. I didn't miss out on things. I experienced things. Because that's what happens when we get to... I, I've read multiple different reports and research studies on people that have been talked about, you know, at their deathbed. And they've been interviewed. How do you how do you feel about your life? What do you, what do you miss? Um, you know, what do you regret? All those things that people ask them those questions. And the vast majority of the time, it's they regret taking that trip they regret not spending time with their friends they regret 
not going out and experiencing parts of their community. You know, it's it's not it's it's very rarely they regret the not working more. They regret, you know, things like that that are just we we believe that that's where we get our accomplishments from. Because we earn money for that work. And so, I mean, that's still a, that's a good thing, but when people get on their deathbed, no, nobody's talking about that. They're talking about the experiences that they didn't take time to enjoy. And that's where the risk piece comes in, because it's a risk. It's a risk to go and do things that are outside your comfort zone, that cost money, that like are going to take your time, that are possibly, you know, going to put you on edge. Um in a in a adrenaline standpoint, not in a stress standpoint, in an adrenaline standpoint. So, you know, it's risky to do those things, but from everything that I've seen and researched and read up on, when you do those things, you have a much happier life, a healthier life, and you live longer and you get to your deathbed and you don't have regrets. So that's the life lesson for today.